Hello, hello world, this is WhatsApp290, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to disable Land School, the classroom management software which teachers can use to control your computer or do something like, and do things like that on, on your, on a, on a computer. Here, as you can see, for this test purpose, I have installed a demo of Land School, and, uh, uh we, I've installed a demo of Land School, and um, I'm going to show you how I can disable it. And you can also use this method to uninstall any program from your computer or computer without administrator privileges. But you know we're focusing mainly on Land School because it's the most popular. But any other uh, monitoring software, or software that you want to take off the computer and you don't have admin privileges, this will work for you. This will this method should work too. Somewhat. Any, anyway, first things first, I'm not, a, it's not my fault if you get in trouble for this. And also, you, this may possibly not work if your computer, if your school's computers have BitLocker turned on. BitLocker drive encryption turned on on them because it requires restarting the computer in the safe mode and that, that they might have that blocked. If, it might, that might get blocked if they have BitLocker hard drive encryption turned on on their computer. So. With that said, let's get started. First things first, as you can see, Land School is running. So what you're gonna to want to do is type, is open msconfig system configuration by going here and typing msconfig. What you're gonna to wanna to do is click boot. Now, if you click check safe mode minimal, basically it only boots up what is what is the only um, only things that are necessary for the uh, computer operating system to function? So you're not going to be able to run very many programs. However, what you're going to want to do is just if if you click check network, you can you can browse the internet, but you know that's about all you can do really. So if you're planning to do anything else than browse the internet. At that, that you know that are using Land School to block, or you don't want them launching your machine. Then just what do exactly is I'm about to do. And definitely do not check this one. Once you've done this, just check safe boot, and I recommend checking minimal because actually you should maybe check minimal because that will block Land School if it tries to start. Just click apply. Then. What you're going to want to do is just restart the computer. Yes, another method for accessing um, for accessing safe mode, if that doesn't work for you, is to shut the computer down um, and uh, start it back up again. Just shut it down, start it back up again, shut it down, start it back up again. Do that about five, three to five times. And uh, what and uh, if you do it enough times, what should happen is the computer should start up automatic repair options and you can boot into safe mode from there. But if, if or press F8 a couple times or it might automatically boot into safe mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and boot into safe mode now, pause the video, and catch up with you guys in a minute. So I'm now in safe mode and as you can see just to prove a point, because I'm in safe mode I'm having to record from my phone because I can't run my screen recording software in safe mode. So once you have, once you're in safe mode, what you're going to want to do is go to File Explorer, scroll down, and click OSCC. We're we're getting rid of Land School now. See this one here called Land School Files. What you're going to want to do is click, is just right click it and click Delete. And what you're going to want to do is go to Program Files, x86, sorry, wrong one, Land, Land School, and then again right click and click Delete. Then what you're going to want to do is click, is go to the Recycle Bin. Then just, then just click empty the recycle bin. 
click yes and what we've just done is basically deleted the necessary files for the land school for the land school software to run correctly off of our machine now now if you want to un remove any other program from your machine from your machine with this method without having to, without having admin access all you have to do is just go to go to OSSC and delete any files for that program however one thing that can potentially happen is the program could still have a um, could still have an entry in your computer's registry editor in which case what you want to do is just go to RS because I can't pull up the registry editor either so one thing that can potentially happen which kind of sucks is that the program can still have an entry in your computer's registry so keep that in mind before you use this method you'll have to find a way to remove it from the registry editor somehow but for land school it's pretty much gone and I'm go what you're going to want to do now is just click on OS Less C again go down to Windows go to System 32 and then go to and then type CMD open the command line and then just type ms con fig then this window will pop up look familiar what you're going to want to do now is just uncheck safe boot and then click apply then if you just restart the computer then again it will now boot, boot back into the real into your normal windows operating system so here I am back in the normal uh, So here I am back in my normal desktop and as you can see Land School is now not running anymore It's not in my system the student.exe process is not in my system tray and Land School is not able to run on my computer anymore and it won't be able to run again until someone comes and reinstalls it so this is I hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave a like comment subscribe again I'm not at fault if you get in trouble for this this is what's up 290 and I'm signing off have a nice day and I'll see you next video